Tobias from UNIP. I'm Jose Gonzalez. Uh, we got together around 98 in Sweden. Uh, me and Elias Saraya, the drummer, we knew each other since we were seven and played in different bands, mainly hardcore. And that's how we met Tobias. He was also playing in another hardcore band. And uh, yeah, just decided to try it out, try my acoustic songs as, as a trio. So yeah, like 13 years now. We actually tried to write a uh, like full-length album and uh, we released two EPs and um, then we got Jose, got, he's, he studied and I was working as a teacher and Elias also studied art in Norwegian and uh, Finland. So we were pretty much inactive for a long, long time. So we decided in 2008 to, to really try to make an, a proper attempt to make an album. Uh, so we didn't book anything for us, we did take the time off and just to concentrate on and focus on an album and uh, so yeah that's why it took so long I guess. We try to listen to a lot of different music just to get inspired so I don't know if that uh, was our influence to write music but we totally got inspired by the Nina Simone and uh, sort of different from song to song but yeah old stuff like Nina Simone and David Axelrod some a few songs by Bill Withers, maybe, uh, yeah, yeah. but also new stuff and like Afrobeat. Even though we don't sound like that, we always listen to very different styles, and you can get inspired by just a sound or, or a beat or uh, anything. When you start playing music, you can uh, like get money for playing music. When you're a kid, you can have a. I I had it like that when I was a kid. We had low. Um, in places for free and instruments for free and everything like that and we only nine million people in the in that country so they could actually provide all that stuff for us they, or the, the people who like to play music so I guess that is one reason why it's a lot of music yeah, coming from Sweden and uh, I guess the language is another thing like we learn English relatively early compared to many other European countries so so, and a lot of Swedish people sing in, in English uh, compared to like France where they stick to French and it's more national music. We're more like chameleons, I think. We've written a couple of new songs and uh, after, this is our last show in the States for we don't know how long actually. So uh, just taking time off to write new material and hopefully it's not gonna take 10 years.